I was invited to a lunch by Catherine Brownlee. There was a speaker that I wanted to hear, a lady by the name of Vivian Krauss. I followed her work for quite some time, so I was excited to be able to go and watch her live. I went to the luncheon, the Rotary luncheon, had a delicious meal, and I sat at a table with seven other Rotarians. And um, I had just a great time at the luncheon, but also engaging with each of the Rotarians. I found them to be upbeat, big hearted. They're all genuinely concerned for others. And I just had a delightful time. So when I left, I thought, boy, I can hardly wait to go to another luncheon. And that's exactly what I did. I attended about four or five luncheons after that, and then um, made the decision to become a Rotarian. If I could break it down, there's probably three main reasons. Number one, like I said earlier, just the people. Um, you know, every single person I've met in Rotary, they're friendly, positive, compassionate. And these are the traits that I want to emulate in myself. So literally every time I go to a Rotary meeting, there's role models surrounding me. Number two, I think, is the programs and the reach. Uh, you know, I just find Rotarians are involved in almost every philanthropic and humanitarian effort that there is. So if anyone's looking to express themselves in, in whether it's volunteering or, or giving or just being part of a family, there's a spot here for anybody in Rotary. And that's, that's how I felt. It, it, I almost feel like it's, um, it's like being at home. And thirdly, for me, it's a great opportunity to make a difference. Um, I've always believed you can't change the world on your own and um, having 1.2 million other Rotarians helping um, is going to get us there a lot faster. It's made me feel better, for one, um, and it's made me a lot more aware of not just the challenges that we face, you know, as humans, but also the number of challenges that, that we face. But I think equally important, I, I'm excited for these opportunities for positive change. I tend to have a very optimistic outlook and that, you know, as society and humans, we're always evolving and we're always getting better. So I'm, ex I'm excited to be able to at least be a small part of addressing some of these challenges that we have. Mm -hmm.